watching Jack Drones. Hi, my name is Jack Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. I've got some nice bits to try. I've had um, a Phantom 2 Vision come to me to be repaired. They have um, basically F stuck FPV on it. So we've got a receiver here. We've got the normal Xemius gimbal on, the, on here. Phantom Vision 2. So we've got the OSD on here, which, which is the online screen sort of displays, statistics, altitude, speed, all that sort of stuff. So it's all in there. I've cabled it all up, tied it up. Now that's actually working, so fantastic. So that's working. Um, I didn't do a video on this one because it was already attached, so there's only a few bits I needed to do. Otherwise, it came to me as a pack. I would have actually done the whole install and then done a video on it. But while this is open, the shell's open, uh, I wanted to look at this product that got sent to me quite a while ago. It's called Buzzcam, from a company called Buzzcam. And what they've done is sent me some stickers. Whoopie doo. <laughs> Um, this this little thing here improves GPS, and the reason why I haven't done this video yet is because I've not had my Phantom 2 Vision doesn't fly. It, well, it flies, but there's no point putting this in there because I can't see if the GPS is going to improve or not. So I thought what I'll do is I'll treat it to a client who's had me repair this for them. So we're going to install this in their um, Phantom Vision 2, and then they can decide on there whether it's actually um, works or not. So obviously it's a bit of plastic, and obviously there's some protection underneath here. And also, obviously, but there's a mod we need to do on this side here. We need to move this so we can lay the cable underneath, which also improves GPS. And hopefully with this on top, which fits quite nicely like so, it gives a lot more extra protection, um, improving the GPS on the um, Phantom, Vision, Phantom 2 itself. So it's straightforward, just a couple of little bits and pieces, straight on there. It's an easy fit. So there's no, there's no gluing, there's no soldering you need to do. It just, just fits in and these actually slide under the little metal tags here where you normally screw the shell top back on they actually fits underneath so we're going to fit this in a sec and, and put, put it in place and uh, then we'll see if the customer when they come picks up a bit later today whether they actually would give it a test flight and say whether the GPS is improved or not they also sent this little thing I don't know, it's a, I don't know what it is it's like a buzz cam there's no instructions Instru instructions tell you how to install this but it's just been showing but it doesn't show you tell you what this thing is. It's obviously metal, and it's also got like a little pin on the back. But I've got no idea what that is actually is, because um, the instruction doesn't tell me what it is. And it's obviously got this little thing to go with, and that's obviously been sat in in the bag like this. So it's obviously got a little pinhole against it. So we'll have to we'll have to sauce that out anyway. So this looks quite good. Got some stickers because um, they replace those. So on on the bottom of here, we've got move this to one side. We need to remove off um, the, the existing um, bit itself, and then we need to hide that cable underneath. So we're going to work out on here, because originally that goes down and goes back, so make sure we've got it on the right way around itself. So it goes that way around, and that goes forward. So yeah. So we need to work out on the lid where this lid can actually sit in the Phantom itself. So we'll make sure the cable we go underneath comes up the right end so it actually sits in its GPS um, slot on the Phantom uh, 2 itself. Well, it's nice and easy. So we'll, we'll turn that back. So let me find, you need a flathead screwdriver. And what you do, what you need to do is just slowly wedge underneath and slowly peel it back. And it should just come up. It's very, very sticky. So it should, should just come up. You only need to take half of it up because you just want to put the cable underneath. It will shorten the cable down, but it, it, it will fit. So, um, but it'll be a tight fit. But once it's connected on there, it's going to insulate the cable itself. Um, so this is a normal standard thing on, on the Phantom 3s. Uh, and I think the, the later version of the Phantom Vision 2 Plus, they already did this fix on there. But on the older models like this one, they didn't. And this made a massive difference with the GPS itself. It's all fingers and thumbs. So lay it down, straight it out, pick up the other end. So try and keep as much cable as you can insulated. And then we just lay that back over the top. Make sure it all goes around and flat. Make sure it's flat down on there. And put it back in place. So now, rather than sort of poking out this side is now poking out this side. So, and you can currently insulate this cable a bit more. I mean, um, put it all in place, that's it. You can hide more of this cable underneath, but this doesn't seem to give me a lot of room to put down. So we'll try, we'll move a bit more so we can get it more wedged underneath. Because we only need a little bit up, just enough to get it in, in its slots itself. 
So I'll try and hide cable a bit more underneath. That's it. I'm just leaving a little bit. So you only need to leave leave a tiny bit like that hanging loose. So the rest of it is all underneath this hidden protection part here, like so, nice and easy. Now, the buzz label itself is facing upwards because if you look underneath, you can sort of see, I don't know if you can see it in here, there's like a shield thing in, in between this plastic, which obviously what protects or helps to boost the signal. So it bounces the signal back in the right direction it should be going in. So it goes in an angle and they slide underneath these little metal bits. They actually slide underneath one. Two, three. I'm trying to show this and do it, but it's quite difficult to do both. <laughs> Get the cable to stay up. That's it. And the last one to go in place. There's, again, there's no screws involved. And again, it sits nicely like this. It does say on the on the packaging if you want to um, make this fit more slugger. If you've got a, um, an air dryer or a hot gun that's not not mega hot, you can slightly wave it over it, and it should then flatten down and then mold into the case and sh case itself nicely like so, if that's what you want. But in theory, it should just work standardly like so in there. So that's your, how the buzz bit fits. Now you can see we've got a little tiny bit of cable left, but that's just enough to insert it back into its plug. And there you go, it's a show you nice and nicely. So now that should hopefully improve GPS a lot. So we'll put this back in, in position uh, around that way and it's when you get it in it's going to be fiddly getting it back in into position and because I've got all this extra OSD cable wise and stuff it's going to be a bit cramped to plug it in so it might be a little bit more difficult to get this plugged in all right might have to use um a long nose plier just to aim it in its plug. There you go, it does. And then get it pushed in first as I lower down the top parts. There you go. And what we've got to do now is <laughs> screw this top down, and it's really packed in with all its um, extra cables from the OSD installed. So it's quite a tight fitting, but they will fit. So now what we'll do is screw that down. And when the customer comes, we'll get it in the air. And it should actually work. So that's the um, got new labels that go on the end here as well. Um, and that's the Buzzcam parts and components. You can buy that from uh, uh, www.buzzcam.co.uk. You know, you can see it properly on there. Again, all the links to this is below. And uh, a very short video. I've uh, got some more goodies coming very soon as well. Don't forget to get your t-shirts as well. So get your t-shirts. I've got some new Phantom 4 t-shirts being designed at the moment. So they should be out very shortly. And I should have some more FPV racing shirts coming out as well. So all your favourite sort of... Uh, if you've got any favourite drones um, and you like it onto a t-shirt, let me know and I'll get it designed and get it up on there. And I'm going to be at the UK Drone Show this year. Hopefully with my own stand. So um, And I have all my t-shirts. I have mugs. I'm going to have a few other bits and pieces to be stuck there where you can pick up a deal and stuff. I'm going to try and get in touch with some of the brands. So if any brand companies out there look, uh, looking out, I'm going to be at the UK Drone Show in December. So if there's anything you want me to sell for you, work a deal out, send me the product. Whatever I sell, we can sort of go, make, make cut a deal anyway. But get in contact with me. My email address is below. And our, um, then we can work something out anyway. Because so, everybody when they go to the UK Drone Show wants a nice deal when they get there. And that's what shows are all about. So hopefully we can get some deals. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit that like button, thumbs up on the video. So any questions you've got on this or the IOSD install, or you got you want me to install an IOSD or any sort of thing, and you've got an old Phantom 2, let me know. But just realise there's not much spare parts for the Phantom 2 at the moment. I get a common question asked about that a lot, and it's difficult. And when they do get older parts, they can be expensive. Just be warned anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Cheers.